Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Look what has arrived. Finally, guys, I feel like I've been waiting for this forever. And when you could have bought it in Walmart, luckily we don't have Walmart in the UK, so it wasn't really an option, but it is finally here. This is fantastic timing. My daughter, she's five years old. She has just gotten into sort of the Marvel universe and we've been playing Five Minute Marvel, which is a fantastic game, I should mention, guys. If you've never checked that out, managed to get it for 50 15 pounds, 15 dollars, that sort of thing, which I think was a great price. And she's really, really into the characters and the universe that uh, comes with it. So I'm really glad this has just arrived. Uh, it's only been the last sort of week she's been into this. So let's have a look. I'm probably miles behind. Everyone's probably already got this game paid for both the shipping. I went for all in one, but tons of it though. I don't know how to really open that in a box. I could do one massive boring unboxing of it all or a billion annoying little videos on the channel. Let me know in the comments below how, if at all, you would like to see this game unboxed and see what's inside. So let's just crack into it. So this is the core game, the base game. Uh, I'll do the other boxes in another video. Let's have a look what you get in the core. Artwork's great, isn't it? My wife was just saying, oh, it's like a children's game. It's all big chunky cartoons it's like you know nothing Jon Snow although I don't know how you say is it chibi chibi I say chibi it's chibi art isn't it which is very exciting not that many games out there in that style uh, what's this free Simon content get it here I'll have to give that a scan scan it yourselves if you want to see what that is but we get a little thing in the top the rule book that is one thing I'm excited for this game it's quite simple isn't it and yet I was, I was dubious backing this. I didn't think it was the game for me. Um, very, very excited that Sophie's into Marvel now, but I think it's really, really simple. I think it's going to play out well with her, except I'd also seen people saying this game's actually quite good and surprisingly good. Um, so I'm very excited to actually play this. Uh, we, sometimes a nice, simple game is, is more than enough. It's 11 pages of rules, and it's big, spaced out, full-color examples, isn't it? So that is not... A lot of rules to learn i do not think that will take very long to learn again nice nice artwork then we've got the standard billion tokens in this sort of punch out board uh don't know what they're all for cannot remember anything about this game oh even more tokens just to keep track of the game state isn't it but two two boards of tokens and then we're onto the plastic insert oh it even says you can't feel this, but it's raised, it's embossed, it does say Marvel United. It's a nice insert if you care for nice inserts. You know, it doesn't really matter, but the, it gives a quality impression, doesn't it? So then we are, these are the, the zones, the areas you move your characters, aren't they? Let's, uh, let's just, so I, I can't bring myself to snap it just in case. Let's just slide this off really carefully. Oh, did I do that? I don't think so. Maybe. But little scuff, quickly fixed it. Right, we're in. So we've got some New York Police Headquarters. We've got the Times Square. That's nice art, isn't it? It's on the back. Oh, we've got the Shield Harrier Carrier. Heli Carrier, if I can even speak. Shield Headquarters, Central Park, Stark Labs, all places I know. Avengers Towers, Avengers Mansion. Oh, I don't know where that is. Somebody let me know in the comments below. Where's that? I mean, I'm only familiar with the MCU, so there's plenty that's probably out there that I don't know about, sort of the comics. So you get all the, what do you call these? Can't remember, but the, the zones your characters move to. Then you've got the, the enemies here. Oh, I definitely can't get that off without ripping it. What's the tracker for? Villain, oh, it's the villain dashboard, isn't it? So we've got the vi villain dashboard to keep track of what part you're at. Then we've got Red Skull as a villain with all of his information. We've got Ultron as a villain with all of his abilities. And then we've got Taskmaster. That's one I do not know because it's not in the MCU, right? As far as I'm aware. So that's why I don't know that character. So two of them I care about, one I do not. Let's get to the miniatures last because we'll probably give them a spin. So then you've got the hero and the villain cards let's pop these open so now they're open so these are all the hero decks and you've got captain america nice art standard to expect i think we've seen most of it on the, the box oh that's nice a bit different black widow so they're all colored aren't they captain america's got blue black widow's got black iron man's that red we've got hulk captain marvel yellow i like that it's color coordinated Ant-Man's in there in silver. I um, can't wait to see how they've managed the colours for 
the billion different characters you can get. Oh, yeah, you can already see Captain Marvel and Wasp. There could be some confusion. I don't think it matters. I think you just deal with your own hands, don't you? So it won't be too big a problem. Oh, really nice on the back. Very obvious which deck is for which character. Hulk there as well. Yeah, very, very nice cards. That's all the decks for building your, dealing with your, your character's abilities, movements, etc. Let's have a look at the villains. Just notice the bottom of the insert's also got Marvel United. It's really high production box, isn't it? So these are the villain stuff, the thug tracker, the rescue civilians. These are like the missions you're doing, aren't they? The free things you need to achieve. Then you've got, oh, some different challenges, different types of threats. So the Taskmaster's threats, Ultron. No, that's not Ultron. Oh, whoa, there's so many for Taskmaster. Then the Ultron deck. And then finally, you've got Red Skull as well. Nice artwork, just similar to the, the character ones, aren't they? On the back, you've got his frets, got his deck, Ultron, his frets, and then you've got Taskmaster. I really, really, really like this full art card, no border. Just, I don't know, just looks nice. Quality-wise, they're good thick cards, nothing cheap and flimsy there. So that's looking good. Let's have a look at, there's not much left, just the miniatures. The best bit, oh, you get, oh, that's like the Tesseract, isn't it? I think that's for keeping track of something, if I recall correctly. So you get a little tiny, it's got its own little space. That's nice. And then is Red Skull facing the wrong way he is? So I do like that they bother to make the baddies red and the characters blue. It's a little bit of a shame the characters don't match their the, the deck card, but it doesn't matter to us because we're going to be painting them. So let's have a look at some of what we've got. I'll give them a spin at the end so you can check them out yourself. Let's have a look at quickly at Red Skull because he's the one I know most of. And the detail there is is great that's really nice really nice chibis is a tiny bit of mold line just here to tidy up i think that's it though unless i'm being blind but yeah that's good size nice looking details there the base is a 3d base as well none of this boring base it's going to be a little bit difficult to paint given that i can't detach him from it and somehow I have to get under him to make that 3d base look nice like we've got a good it's paint under there that'll be a little bit tricky which I think Hulk's the best, right? Everybody agree? Good, excellent. Uh, Hulk, yeah, he's got some mold lines. He's got a little gap here. I may or may not fill that. Probably not, given there's a billion miniatures to paint. Oh, I don't know, it's pretty bad. So I'd probably fill that gap under his neck as well. Okay, he's getting he's getting touched up with some green stuff. But other, other than that, just because he's a big miniature, I guess it was built in multiple pieces. It looks good. Again, really nice 3D base. Looks like he's smashing down on this floor. So he's looking great. Let's have a look at Iron Man as well. Whoa, is this like supposed to be fire coming out from under him? That's going to be fun to paint. Fun and difficult, but he's looking good, isn't he? I can't. He hides the mold lines well, that or there just aren't any because I can't see them. Slight one here, I guess. But yeah, he hides it well. And I don't notice any gaps. He's glued together significantly better so he's looking good i'll give these guys all a spin so you can check them out let me know in the comments below how you would like to see any more of this unboxed if at all you would and um, whether i should do it all in one big go or lots of individual small videos and also let me know who you would like to see painted first preferably out of this set but you can see how much i've got i've got it all so maybe not all let me know what i've missed but also what would you like to see painted first thank you all ever so much for watching and i will see you again soon Thank you.